One of the problems with hiring strong independent women to work at your company, instead of the usual assemblage of soft, entitled, like-minded corporate drones that have never had an original thought in their entire lives, is that they don't always think, say, or do the things that you want them to. Case in point, Gina Carano, a former women's MMA fighter turned actor who was brought in to play Cara Dune on The Mandalorian. And at first, all seemed well. The show was a success and Carano's character soon became a fan favourite. Unfortunately, she began to ruffle feathers behind the scenes at Disney Lucasfilm by refusing to spout the same politically acceptable talking points as everyone else at the company, and even dared to express some conservative political views at times. Oh man! Oh God, oh man! Now, a sensible person would have accepted that a company as large and diverse as Disney is likely to attract people from a wide range of backgrounds, worldviews, and political leanings, just like their own audience, in fact. Because, you know, the real world isn't a liberal arts campus where everyone has exactly the same opinions about everything. Or else. Unfortunately, Disney seems to be staffed mostly by people for whom the idea of different viewpoints is as terrifying as hard work and personal accountability, and so the moment she began to question THE MESSAGE, Carano basically had a target on her back, and it was only a matter of time before someone took the shot. That time finally came in February 2021, when a social media post commenting on the political division in America saw her booted from the company and publicly ostracised. Just another victim of cancel culture, I I guess. Sorry, consequence culture. Now, just to be clear, do I think she expressed herself in the best way possible? Nope. Was it a poorly judged remark that left her open to misrepresentation? Yup. Would I have done something like that? No fucking way. But it seems that being a victim doesn't come all that easily to her, and last night she confirmed on Twitter that she's filing a lawsuit for wrongful dismissal and defamation against Disney with the help of Elon Musk's lawyers, no less. And the thing is, I think she's probably gonna win. See, on the face of it, Disney were actually entitled to fire her. They're a private company, after all, and they're free to hire or dismiss employees as they see fit. The devil, though, is in the detail, and this is where it gets kind of interesting. See, it turns out that Gina wasn't the only one sharing divisive and inflammatory political content on social media, no matter how well-intentioned it might have been. Actors like Pedro Pascal were doing exactly the same thing and totally getting away with it, the only difference being which side of the political divide they came from. I guess they really do embrace every form of diversity except the ones that actually matter. The other issue is the manner of her firing. See, when companies make public announcements about high-profile departures, they're usually very carefully worded to be as bland and neutral as possible. Something along the lines of, After careful consideration, Lucasfilm have decided to part ways with Gina Carano effective immediately. We wish her success in her future endeavours. Would have been the correct way to handle it. There's a reason these statements are worded like this and it's got nothing to do with optics. It's to avoid potential defamation lawsuits further down the line, because the moment you attack someone's character or motivations in public, you leave yourself wide open to retaliation. But it seems like Lucasfilm just couldn't help themselves. It wasn't enough just to fire her, they had to make an example out of her. And so instead, what we got was... Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm and there are no plans for her to be in the future. Nevertheless, her social media posts denigrating people based on their cultural and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. Now, for all we know, this post might have been written by some low-level PR intern, fresh out of a gender studies degree at Portland University, who just so happened to have access to the company's social media account that day, but it doesn't matter. The moment it comes from an official channel within the company, it becomes the company's official line, and the only way to undo it is to issue a public retraction and a full apology, neither of which they actually bothered to do. Not only did they apply their own rules unequally and discriminate against her because of her political opinions, but they they also made defamatory comments about her intentions in a public setting. And well, that's not the kind of thing you can expect to get away with. So what happens now? Well, if I had to take a guess, I'd say they'll probably try to settle out of court, and the most likely result's gonna be an apology and financial compensation. Because let's be honest, if this case actually did go to trial, then Disney would be forced to hand over their internal communications relating to the case, and I'm willing to bet there's a lot of dirty laundry they'd rather the public didn't get to see. I mean, I guess they could offer to bring her 
back into the Mandalorian as some kind of consolation prize, but honestly, that sounds a bit like teasing a job opportunity on the Titanic. It might sound appealing at first, but it's not going to do you any favours in the long run. Either way though, the fact is that a major scandal like this couldn't possibly have come at a worse time for Disney, who are already reeling from a disastrous 2023, a string of high profile box office flops, plummeting revenue, and now, a possible takeover bid from Nelson Peltz and Elon Musk if the latest rumours are to be believed. I mean, let's be real here, Elon's made no secret of his attitude towards Bob Iger. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> And Nelson Peltz is now actively buying up shares to get access to seats on the Disney boards. Combine that with the fact that the two men were seen in public together for the first time recently, and this loaded comment from Elon himself. I'm just, uh, just here with friends, you know, thinking about companies to acquire. Whoa! And the fact that Elon's now financing Carano's lawsuit against the company, and well, if you can't draw a picture from this, I don't know what to tell you, man. Either way, it doesn't exactly bode well for Bob Iger's chances of holding on to his job. And you know what? I'm totally here for it. You reap what you sow at the end of the day, and it turns out that Disney have sown a lot of shit in recent years. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Go away now.